Hello everybody, Rufo here and I bring to you a different game. Well, that is much simpler and just fun to play. Like that, punk! Oops! Let's play Spyro the Dragon. Just because it's fun. <laughs> it's really the best recommendation to play any game, isn't it? Let's just start anew. In the world of dragons. Okay, rolling. Oh, it's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six? For a dragon's age. We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Simple. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Besides, he is ugly. That does it! Looks like I got some things to do. So yeah, everybody got that? Good! <laughs> so I suppose to sum up, up the, the general gist is that is, uh, dragons were being interviewed on the news, on the news for whatever reason, and uh, well, when asked about Nasty Nork, they, they said he's no threat to them, so Nasty replied. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. Free ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. What about Nasty Nork? I'm going after him. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. And that right there is kind of the uh, core objective of the game. We go around, we free dragons. Hey, dragons. Oh, we also collect gems. Because of course we do. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um. His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him and see what I mean. Now, some of you might be wondering, how did Spyro avoid uh, avoid this uh, crystallization that happened to all the other dragons? Well, Wikipedia will have will have you believe that uh, Spyro's uh, the fact that Spyro is so much smaller than all the other dragons is how he avoided it. However, um. I believe the canonical reason behind why Spyro avoided capture is because he was sloughing class. <laughs> oh well. Oh! Stop falling in the water. There we go. I don't remember where the game hints, at, hints about doing that, but uh... Eh. Let's actually go flying. Which is one of the things we get to do so rarely in this game. And of course it's a timed event. Oh well. Our objective here is to uh, just destroy targets. Aha! Okay, destroy targets and fly through arches. There's eight of each kind of target and four different kind of targets. You get them all, then, uh, well, a bunch of gems for us. Back here, you! I'll get back to him. I 
I could remember all the flight maneuvers. <laughs> Let's, uh... Well, R1 is the, is the, uh, whoop-de-loop. Which is good to know. So I believe that'll mean that L1 is the, is the, uh... Is the, the, uh... Wing over. Regardless, the uh, nonsense with the planes is running me out of time. It's actually been a really long time since I played this game. <laughs> now I don't want to try again. The time was terrible. Hey you! I'm supposed to give clarity to what the uh, dragon said about the about Sparks, the dragon fly. Said he was helping and protecting us. And uh, well, as you can see, he, he actually go. He actually, if we get close enough to a gem, then uh, he'll he'll tag it so that we pick it up. And he serves as our health meter. Well, he's golden, then then we are at maximum health. Since he's at blue, we have two hits left. Other phases are, include green. And, uh, well, if you take a hit while, while Sparks is green, then, then he disappears. Which, uh, not only does that mean we die on our, we die the next time we get hit, it also means we have to actually run, o run over the gems to pick them up. But let's not worry about that. Instead, just come to the stone hill and loot it of its treasures. Oh yes, and find drag find the other crystallized dragons. I see. What do I got here? Have a dragon and a locked box. Watch the dragonfly Spyro. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Uh, sure. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, we're gonna have to find a key for that. Believe the key is actually over here. How are you? That is an extra life. After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya. It's actually not the only way to get back to to the uh, artisan home world, which uh, is the hub world that we that we'd been running around. The other way is to just come into the menu and say exit level. Either way, I'll hop over this wall. Aha! We find a different kind of box, which we can which we cannot torch to open up. So we're just gonna have to use those horns. Take that! 
Oh! You don't jump as high when you're charging. That's, uh, kind of important to be aware of. At least not in this, in this game. <laughs> Alright! I see boxes! Take that, punk! More stuff! So much stuff! Oh yes, and uh, you. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Alright, we've been down that path, so this is the path we need. This is the only path left to us. Oh! We got! everything down low. I think so. Let's go up. Oh, sir! Spyro, my friend! How about a hint on gliding? You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump, and try pressing the triangle button to drop down in mid-flight. Yay! So of course, let's just get over here! Get back to that area in a moment! First, I'll deal with this guy! Like that! A dragon egg! We don't know what these are for yet, but they're dragon eggs and we are dragons, so they ought to be important to us. Alright, how are we doing? Uh, right. Just need to find the rest of the treasure and we're done here. But where is it? I believe you can uh, you can uh, press uh, L2 and R2 at the same time. Show the buttons used for uh, controlling the camera. If you press those at the same time, then sparks will will point towards the nearest treasure. But for whatever reason, with my setup, uh, that just that just doesn't work. <laughs> or maybe that's the feature of later games and games that I'm thinking of. The other way for us to find treasure is to actually just scan the horizon and look for twinkles. It will easily let us see any, uh, loose gems, but uh, if they're in a box, then we won't see them. But since we're done... Aha! Get out of here.
Hey! These guys, since since I believe we've already beaten them, I honestly don't remember. He's being elusive. <laughs> yes, he gave us a curiously a curious crystal that wasn't worth any gems. Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide, and and don't be afraid. Afraid? Of what? Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Yeah, uh, he gave us a uh, a uh, curiously colored crystal that uh, then showed up as a marker around our extra lives. If we collect like twenty of those, then uh, we will receive an extra life. So, uh, yeah. That's what enemies, that's what respawned enemies, these will drop. Let's go in here. Aha! not fall off of the ledges. Oh. Alright, let's go to town. Chickens! Gems! The real thing we care about! Oh yes, and uh, crystals. Crystallized dragons. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. Alrighty, that area over there, huh? Take that! Since we did actually get the gem out of these guys, we can't just leave them like that. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's more merciful to kill them off or just leave them that way. Difficult to say. It's my able to tell so far. The, our red gems are worth are worth uh, one treasure. Green ones are worth two, these blue ones are worth five. There's two other types of types of gem around that are worth more treasure. We'll see them later. Oh yes, and a Spyro cannot swim in this game. Falling into that water is just death because, well, there's no way to get back out of it. Thanks, Spyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. Oh, that must have Did sucked. you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? I heard that somewhere. Hey, you! Ah! Oh yes, yeah, so you hear what sounds like somebody teasing us? That's uh, that's the egg thief. The uh, the guy in blue that we that we dealt that we dealt with in Stone Hill. Yeah, they're kind of rude. Ah, oh, there's a yellow gem that's worth... They're worth ten treasure. <laughs> Spyro, did you see a man dressed in blue running around here? He's a thief! 
and he's stolen a dragon egg. You've got to track him down and, and get that egg. Run, run. <laughs> I'm getting a little winded. Boy, maybe you shouldn't have stood up. So yes, the dragon eggs are of importance to the dragons. Go figure. Line this up. Gotcha! It's really useful to not let this guy get away from you. So unless you end up doing a lot of backtracking. That and of course there's a lot of treasure along his running path. Be dumb. Ha! Hello, sir. Take that. Give me the loot. Even more loot. Yay! Thank you for releasing me! Alright then. That I think, yep, we're done here. So, we'll get out of here and uh, we'll call it a day. Until next time. See you then. Later.